Hey! What are you doing? I'm, uh... Fixing a divot. Oh! He's fixing a divot! Uh, today we're not playing vanilla Minecraft, as you can probably tell from the from the trees behind me. Uh, we're playing a special custom uh, mod pack developed by this man over here, Mr. Taterboy. How are you doing, buddy? Hello, Governor. Taterboy has been working on this mod pack for about how long, uh, Taterboy? It was probably a few hours one night. <laughs> so. Uh, basically, this mod pack is kind of like a kitchen sink pack. Am I am I understanding that correctly? That is correct. Yes, it's a lot of different things that and no cohesive theme really. <laughs> sounds like uh, sounds like all of us in a nutshell. What we're gonna be doing is just uh, playing through this absolutely insane like kitchen sink mod pack. We're gonna be doing lots of cool things and. Uh, Eventually, this we are planning to make this pack publicly available uh, for everybody to kind of download and play. Also, I will be posting the seed of this world that we're playing on because we've got some really awesome world gen and it would be an absolute crime to not share it with the public. So, uh, eventually the, the pack is going to be publicly available. It's still up for review at the time of this recording on CursedForge.com. And, uh, yeah, so, without further ado, uh, Mr. Tater, let's go ahead and fucking start playing. Yeah, also, stay tuned for future episodes. There will eventually be a mega base, mega structure build that we'll do. Yeah. And I think everyone's going to appreciate it, because we're going to put a lot of work into it, and it's going to be beautiful. At least all the Warcraft nerds. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think, uh, I think a lot of people will... Will definitely be interested in it because it's gonna be it's gonna be really sick looking. Yeah. Okay. So what we want to do first, the usual thing is punch trees, right? So. Yeah. That's that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna now, go. Oh right, we have a vein collect. miner. Yeah, we do have vein miner. Vein miner is in the pack, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Like I said earlier, guys, this pack is insane. Like, absolutely, like, bonkers insane. Uh, speaking of which, I th thought I picked up some silkworms earlier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, off camera, I picked up some silkworms and infested a few trees and collected strings. So we've actually got all we need, really, to start. We just need to get enough wood to make, like, a nice little house for us to start with. I mean, we could always just, like, evict some villagers. Yeah, we could do that. I, I just don't want to... I don't want to build near a village, because I don't like that... Huh. 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 Stuff that, that, that I, I will murder people after a little while, so... <laughs> we also have bees uh, from Forestry, which I'm really excited about. I haven't messed have, with that mod in a minute. Yeah, we have bees, we have Forestry, we have chickens, we have more chickens, we have... All the chickens. Chickens that crap out, uh, like Emeralds shiny stuff. That... Ow, I fell. Yeah, we have chickens that crap out all the things. <laughs> and we have the roost mod so we can mega breed them, and yeah. It's, it's, abs it's actually crazy, like what, like what kind of beautiful fuster cluck this mod pack is. <laughs> Yes. Like, this mod pack is enough to, like, get me out of my Minecraft kind of funk and, like, start, like, like diving headfirst back into modded uh, Minecraft because uh, for those who don't know me, like, uh, I go by Morvar on, uh, on YouTube and pretty much the internet in general, and I've got my start playing modded Minecraft. So this is, like, a weird sort of... Uh, like, it all comes back to you, kind of, kind of, uh, deal going on here. So, yeah, I'm really stoked. Uh, check out the giant donut. Check out the what? Uh, our Sorry. giant donut. Yeah, this is, this is Donut Mountain, everyone. <laughs> donut Mountain. Yes. Eventually, that's gonna be our home. Yes, we're gonna have, like... Floating above that is going to be the uh, 
the uh, ziggurat of uh, Nexramus. That's going to be the f the future mega build that we're going to be working toward. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually, yes. Okay, so to get started, though, I've got see, I'm tons of crops. I've got I've made some planks. I think we're going to need a little more wood. I think a good place to start is going to be this nice flat area right here in front of Donut Mountain. Mm. And and we can just build a a basic like maybe a 15 by 15 little hut that'll yeah. give us plenty of space to work with so we're not bumping into each other. 15 by 15, that's a weird way to say 9 by 9. Yes. <laughs> yes. It is a it is the French pronunciation. <laughs> Few people know about it. Direwolf would not be happy with us. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, Direwolf is like his 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 house in German is no by no. <laughs> nine by nine. <laughs> and immediately yeah. demonetized. <laughs> yeah, my general. Also, I did not realize that you had Pam's Harvest Craft on here, yes. which is really cool. I love that yeah. mod. I, I think I have cooking for blockheads. Big Max for everybody. Cooking block cooking for blockheads is fun because you can make that multi-block kitchen mm -hmm. that makes cooking so much easier. Because you have kitchen? like a multi-block kitchen. Yeah, you've got like a refrigerator and a stove, and a the stove works like a furnace, but you can load it with. Uh, pans and cookware and it makes crafting recipes like a, a breeze so is it like a multi-block structure it's like well it's like little individual blocks that tie together and detect each other when they're closed oh so kind of like uh, the tinker stuff a little bit yeah a little bit like tinkers but yeah like it detects if you have a if you have the refrigerator next to the stove and you're cooking something, mm. it'll, it'll detect all the food that's in the fridge and allow you to cook whatever you have stored. That's really cool. So, yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. Where did you want to... So, like, you wanted to go in, like, this this uh, flat area right here, yeah? Yeah, right at the base of Donut Mountain. Oh, like, right at the base of it? Well, not, not too close, uh, because I think there's, like, a lake there, or I didn't see... Well, we have, like, a decent flat area right here. Where did you go? I'm, like... Oh, oh I, I think I see you. North-east-ish from you. Which, I have my radar in the typical uh, first-person shooter <laughs> position on my bottom left. Because I've been playing a lot of Halo. That. Yeah, this will work. Because I have uh, some nice little dirty dirt. Okay. Well, let's actually, instead of filling it out, let's dig it up. Let's dig up a 15 by 15 area and have a wood floor. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. I need to make tools. Hold on. I've got a, uh... You need a craft table? It's getting... The sun is setting, so... We should probably... Get the floor plan laid out pretty quickly. Here we go. It's getting dark, so just temporarily. Let's go ahead and sleep and not be yeah. in danger. Oh, and I, I guess it would help if I took it off peaceful mode, right? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it would be cool to like uh, make it daytime anyway, so. Okay, there we go. Sleep. Beach with a shovel. Beat you with a shovel. Beat you with a shovel. Deed. Okay. D E D dead. M O O N. That spells decimated. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna drop off a lot of this stuff I don't really need right now. 
But we do have a single en Ender Lily, and the chest is freaking out. What is going on there? So we also okay. have uh, one of my favorite mods of all time. Uh, equivalent Exchange, or Project E. Yes. Which, uh, if you guys don't know, that's a mod that you get that you that uh, you download if you never want to do work ever. Oh my god. That mm. was so loud. Sorry. Oh my god. You may want to turn down your volume settings. No, it's just like everything just like just like exploded at like all at the same time. I vein mine the grass. Yeah. You were saying so uh, you, you were saying that Project V is a mod that doesn't require work, but it actually does require a lot of progression. Yeah, to some degree, but once you like do like a few like basic steps cuz like, you know, like to build like the the matter collector or whatever it's called, like the the thing that looks like it's like a flower of glowstone. Yeah. Uh, once you start building those, it like gets like crazy, crazy easy. Wait till you see the power flowers though. That's the next stage of progression in which uh you automate the production of EMC and it requires an insane amount of resources and EMC to progress. Oops. Like millions of EMC we're talking about. Yeah, we're actually going to try to see like just how ridiculous we can get with that mod. Uh, do you need food? Or do you have uh, some? I have some apples, but don't... Uh, I have some jam. Yeah, we're going to save the apples... Until we can cook them. Alright, so I'm going to get an axe and start chopping down. Axe. Do you want to make the, the house out of wood? Uh, yeah. And I'll actually make the Tinker's stuff too. I've got all of the wood for that. Alright, I actually I'll, have a little bit of wood, so... I'll make it right in the middle. Is this 15 by 15? It's 15 that way. I don't know, I can't count. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Bluebirds. There we go. Now it's fifteen by fifteen. But yeah. Loud noise. Loud noises. <laughs> oh, I don't know what we're yelling about. <laughs> A lot of references tonight. <laughs> Lots of uh. Lots of not so obscure references. Chunk updates. This video is brought to you by Sex Panther. <laughs> <laughs> Sex Panther? Do you remember that? The no, I've never heard that before in my life. You've never seen Anchorman, really? Like, years ago. It. You just quoted it. <laughs> Did I? Yeah, you I said, I don't know what we're yelling about. I thought, like, that was from The Office or something. No, that was... I just Steve know it's Carell, a Steve Carell yeah. bit. But, uh, it's from Anchorman, and there's this guy, this... He has this man cave cabinet. Uh-huh. Full, full of cologne, and then he, like, makes... Pulls a secret chest open... And like it's a and it's like shows this like smoky bottle of cologne and he calls this is Sex Panther. And uh, <laughs> the guy the guy puts it on and everyone starts freaking out and being horrified at how disgusting it smells. And people are like, it smells like Indian food wrapped in a dirty diaper. <laughs> and another guy's like, it smells like Bigfoot's dick. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> Just the 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 smell of vision reaction that I'm getting from that. Just ugh. yeah, Indian food in a wrapped in, burnt burnt Indian food wrapped in a in a dirty diaper. Indian food is amazing. Have you ever had uh, it? I've never had it, but I know that when it's cooking, it smells horrific. It depends on where you go. If if you're not in the kitchen, it's horrific. Yeah. Because if you're like if you're in an apartment in the downstairs area of whoever's cooking it, 
It's really gross. <laughs> I, I've lived in an apartment complex before where you could smell everyone else's cooking all at once, and it smelled like a sewer. It was, it was <laughs> not good. All right, okay. so I'm thinking like the sides should be like the log. I did not want that log. Hey, wait a minute. I want to try to find the center of the room. Ah, shit. You know, it's a good thing that I, by default, uh, don't put the, the video rated, uh, for kids. Because... Oh my goodness. Like just just in the descriptions of like what we just were talking about alone. Oh yeah. my god. It would get taken down probably, right? Probably immediately. Yeah. Like, yes, kids, Minecraft is not only for children. I guess we should uh address the elephant in the room. I'm actually not as young as I sound. Yeah, you're, uh... I am 35 years old, and I still play Minecraft. Because of priorities. <laughs> I have my shit together, people. <laughs> I mean, I know, like, some people that are, like, old enough to be my dad that play Minecraft. In fact, yeah. in fact uh, some of them actually have kids. Yeah, it's a, uh, oh, sorry. It, it is a, uh, universal game that, you know, I think anyone can enjoy, really. Yeah, especially when it's modded. Because, like, this game is basically, like, Gary's mod for, like, sandbox games. It's just, like, everybody just, like, loads, like, so much stuff in it to where it's, like, nobody even really remembers, like, the, <laughs> like, its original state. Even though, like, it's vanilla state is actually getting pretty, uh, cool, I gotta say. Like, they've added, uh, beekeeping and stuff, which is really, oh, really? awesome. Yeah, the bees yeah. look really weird. They're, like, these jumbo things that... They're so fucking cute. You would not want to get stung by, because it would be would be a nightmare. Yeah, like... It... They're the Minecraft Dis equivalent to murder hornets. Maurice, dispatch the murder hornets! <laughs> All right, so we got like a a good thing there. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and just kind of cover the yeah. thing up here. Uh, YouTube, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, build and kind of get some homework done, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we're yes, we're recording again. Huh. This floor looks a little different. Tater yes. boy. What uh like do you have something to do with this? Yes, we're uh one of the mods that is the uh earliest mods that we want to showcase is called Tinker's Construct and uh Tinker's Complement. Is that what this uh these these uh blocks are? Yeah, the in the middle we this is the Tinker's Construct basic uh, setup. You'll have a stencil table to make stencils. You have a part builder to make the parts, components of the tools using the stencils and the material you want to make the tool out of. And then at the tool station is where you actually build the tool itself. And then the part chest, I mean the uh, pattern chest, stores the active patterns. And if you put it in this configuration, it works like a multi-block and you can access all the parts all of the different stations from one GUI. So if I press like on the stencil table, oh look, I can uh, I can access the pattern chest from here. Yeah, it has tabs at the top of the GUI that go to all the different crafting stations that are connected to it. Oh, that's neat. Yes. Let me pretend that I've never messed with this mod before. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what are you like? What so is up with this I'm using floor? the Tinker's Complement chisel, and uh, you can right click or you can left click uh, a chiselable block if it's like you know usually cobblestone and wood and 
there's there's not not every block can be chiseled, but many blocks can. But you can right click it. Or I mean, sorry, left click it, and it chisels the you block. Also, you can also, or uh, yeah, you can if you if you right click the air with a chisel, it'll open a GUI, and you can make a bulk amount of a particular style of block. But since th these blocks were already on the ground, I thought it would be easier to just left click them. Yep. So you just left click to get the block that you want, right? Yeah, and you can make it in any of the patterns that it, it goes seems that for. It doesn't work if you already have like a block on on your chisel. Yep. So fun fact, if you already have like a block selected for your chisel, uh, the left click won't work. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's very cool. Audience? <laughs> yes, it is It is indispensable. The chisel mod, to me, is uh, one of the best aesthetic mods that you can get. And it really doesn't, it really doesn't uh, come at a cost of, like, of like perform performance. Yeah, it's just a it's just a it's it just, just a, a basic, everything. Yeah, like a basic uh like This is something you something. might want to show them if you open if you go to the tool station and open it, every now and then your tools will break and the easiest way to repair them is like this. You put the tool in the middle and the material can go on any side of it and it will repair it to full that way the tool itself doesn't break and you don't have to rebuild it. It just goes into a state of brokenness that you can fix. Come to the bed, honey. Can do, the Come other to thing bed, you can honey. do is make repair kits. Sorry? Come to bed, honey. Oh, bedtime. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why do I feel like there's something untoward going to happen soon? I mean... I keep the lube under my pillow for a reason. Anyway, uh, so tool station. <laughs> so yeah, Our, tool station. We can. Uh, the other thing we can do is make these sharpening kits, and I'll give you some right here. I'll give you a couple of these, since you're doing a lot of building. You're gonna need some of those. You can craft those in your personal inventory, with the tool that's broken, and it will repair the tool completely. And those are just made out of the material and the the pattern for. The sharpening kit, and uh, we'll talk about more about that later when we want to upgrade the hardness of our tools, because yep. uh, you make an obsidian sharpening kit combined with flint, combined with the tool, and then you'll be able to mine stuff as hard as cobalt. Yeah, which handy. is kind of a, a little bit later game. Uh, yes, later game. But uh, a YouTube audience, uh, like. Trust me, like there's a lot more to this mod than uh than what it seems. Because uh, eventually we can do like really cool things, like make custom tools, which can do like all sorts of crazy things. Uh, and yeah, it's probably one of my favorite mods to mess around with. If not just for like the like the sheer custom customizability of uh of these tools, it's great. How do you, what do you think about that? Does that look interesting? Uh, hold on. Or, I'm trying to clean up my inventory. <laughs> yeah, we need to get you a... Uh, Just fooled again. Uh, Ooh, what, like over here, what, do you like the look of that? I like that, yeah. Okay. We'll make the bottom... I call it breaking up the visual static. Mm. Uh, we need doors. Yes, I'll make. Uh, I got some. Oh, and uh, we we want to make uh, some more trapdoors and windows. What? Oh shit! <laughs> Which uh, I found out through personal experience that if you open up two of those trapdoors, uh, you can't walk through. Oh, there's one of those crazy uh, golem things outside. Let's kill it with fire. I I need to heal my health. Yeah, as do I. Oh wait, you can cook apples. That's right. Ah, somebody's been making uh, some charcoal. Yeah, so I was making some charcoal, and now 
we can cook the apples. And for some reason, kids, cooking the apples makes them more nutritious. I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> huh. Cooked apples. That's from the Tiny Progressions mod that is in this pack. Oh, wow. That gives a lot of hunger back. Yes. That's amazing. And it gives high saturation, too. That's really not, that's really handy. It's very yeah. broken. Uh, YouTube audience, also, uh, keep in mind that normally mod packs have a little bit like harsher of a progression curve. Well, not harsh, but like uh, there's gonna be like a, a very set path in some of the uh, in some of the other mod packs that are out there, especially like on Curse Forge or uh, or Twitch doc or uh, the Twitch launcher. The thing about this mod pack is that uh, progression sort of like jumps around a lot. Yeah, to put it lightly, it's, uh, there's not really a theme to it, and there's no quest quests because I'm not an experienced enough mod pack author to make uh, quest lines. Mm -hmm. But I hope to do that in the future eventually. Yeah, that'd be really sweet. Uh, what is this mod pack called, Tear Boy? When worlds collide. Yep. Because originally the the concept for the pack was that there would be uh, there's a lot of aesthetic mods in it. Ow. And there's also a lot of tech mods, and so it's kind of a collision of two different worlds of playstyles in which uh, some people like to build and other people like technology. And I'm more of the technology person myself. Yeah, I enjoy uh, messing with. Actually, I kind of enjoy all mods to be honest. Yeah. Magic it's mods are the only ones that I haven't really messed around with too, too much. I've I messed with, like, a few, like, a few of them, like, of course, Thongcraft back in the day. Um, I messed, we were talking about Batania earlier, which is another mod, which, uh, that mod is all about collecting flowers and turning them into portals yeah. that lead to different dimensions. Yeah. I, I'm not even kidding. That's literally what happens. <laughs> And it's great. And it, here in a bit, we're going to start ramping up our progression by... We're, we're, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to dig down a, a little cellar under the house. Oh, like, and so that we can like have a, like a little workshop like a area? Yeah, like a mine shaft and a workshop area. Yeah, that'll be really handy. And uh, we'll get some stone together. We'll get a smeltery going from Tinker's Construct. Yep. Which is going to be really nice. And YouTube audience, we'll do our best to kind of explain like what we're doing uh, as, we as go, much as we yeah. can. Because uh, it, like, uh, Tear Boy had made a good point earlier that like not a whole lot of people really uh, know Minecraft mods. And I've I've been playing them since the beginning, and this is almost like all second nature to me. But I I realized that like we're playing a very a, a very narrow niche at this point. So yeah, it'll be really helpful I think for for uh, you guys to kind of like have like a decent uh, description or explanation as to uh, what actions we're taking and why we're doing them. Yep. Because modded Minecraft is, I don't know if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but is significantly uh, different than <laughs> vanilla Minecraft. One, so. of the, one of the main differences is the, uh, there are a lot of uh, quality of life changes that are not to be found in vanilla. Like uh, things that you wouldn't even think you know, think about like, uh, for instance, the crafting station. You can shift click items into the crafting station to put them in. Yep, and then if you look away from the crafting station, like say, like if you forgot like an item or something, it'll hold the items there. in there, and you can actually yes. you actually see like a nice little uh a cool little uh uh I forget like what you call that, but uh little preview. Yeah, like a little preview uh, entity in there to show you, like, there's dirt, and you can see the dirt, like, on the actual table itself. Isn't that neat? Yep. 
Oh, that's why I was lagging. <laughs> the backup, yes. Yeah, it's really nice. It's very, it's very handy. Uh, it's also, uh, there was another thing about it. Oh yeah, the, the way it's crafted is basically just a regular crafting table, and then you recraft it, and it becomes a crafting station. Yep. And uh, this information, uh, most of the, one of the main keys to playing modded Minecraft is using the JEI mod, which is just enough items. There's other ones. There's like not enough items, but I use JEI. And yeah, I think that's uh, like it, kind of like the standard at this point. Yeah, it's an index mod that shows you all the blocks that are in the pack. So and, it's, it's uh, all of this. Like, so you could probably show the audience your screen if you open the pack, and you can show them the search bar, the and how to uh, add things to the favorite menu, which is by hovering over the item and pressing the A key by default. Oh, is that how you, like, bookmark stuff? That's how you bookmark stuff, yeah. And that way you don't have to search for it again. You can just look over on your left side, and it'll have a list of all your items that you've bookmarked. Oh, that's cool. And then you can call up the recipe and uh, and more easily craft it by shift-clicking the little plus sign. will craft all, avail all as many of things as you can. So, like, you can craft a hundred of one item or a thousand of one item or however many you can afford in your inventory. You have all uh, the see, raw materials. that I didn't know about. <laughs> you really? Yeah. Well, you learn everything. You learn things every every day, right? Yeah. Uh, also, one cool thing that you can do, uh, YouTube audience, is that if you play like us and you don't really like to kind of cheat items in all the time, uh, what you can do is that, like, okay, so by default, JEI, like, if you left click on an item, boom, it'll uh, like, it'll show you the recipe for it and so on and so forth. But what's cool is that JEI and a lot of these uh, these index mods like this also have a have a, uh, a function that you can use to find what you can use an item for. So you just uh, hover over an item and you press the U key and it'll tell you like what you use that item for. Like, like I have the wooden wrench here so I can combine it with like an enchanted book and like I can give like an unbreaking uh, book to a wooden wrench, and I can give the wrench unbreaking, and just so on and so forth. Uh, really, really handy, especially if you don't know like uh, a whole lot of the newer mods like I do, because like I I haven't played modern Minecraft in years, so uh, so that's really handy for someone like me, and and hopefully it'll uh, help you guys out too. I hope this doesn't affect your OCD too much, but uh Oh no, I like I've been too busy uh too busy trying to think bef to even really worry about oh. <laughs> oh wait, the door's off. That's why it didn't work. The door was off center. <laughs> oh, was it? Yeah. Cuz the center of the room is this pattern chest. Oh, whoops. No worries. I fix it. I fix. I make better. So we really didn't get super far yet, but trust me, things are going to get like really insane uh, later on in the in the pack. So uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and call the episode here because uh, uh, these recordings are <laughs> are really big and large already, and we've been recording for like a better part of like 40 minutes. So anyway, guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call, call the episode here. Uh, thanks for watching, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody!